If you're a fan of Mac OS, you better stop watching this video right now because I'm back yet again with 11 free Windows app for Windows 11. Ashad, how many videos will you make? Are there so many Windows apps out there that are so useful? Well, the team went on a rabbit hole once again and found out some really, really cool apps, which I thought that you guys should definitely know and should definitely install if you have a Windows PC or a Windows laptop. So let's check out all these apps one by one. And I feel like all of these are going to be very useful for each one of you out there. And there should be something very interesting for everyone. All right, if you're watching me for the first time, I'm Ashad. This is Track It Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. The very first app that we want to recommend is Alt Send Me. Remember how many times we've already recommended Local Send? But well, this one's better. And you know, every time I uh, find an alternative, it definitely seems to be better than Local Send. With Alt Send Me, you don't really need an account and you can send and receive data, whether the person is sitting right next to you or you know, overseas somewhere in a different land far, far away. And it's also super private thanks to the fact that it uses the newest end-to-end -end encryption standard called TLS 1.3. And if your firewall is troubling you with creating connection problems, then it can solve that for you and bypass that as well. Also say for example your Wi-Fi cuts out in the middle of a download and the Wi-Fi resumes back again, it resumes the download which is pretty cool. And it also uses Blake 3 to double check after the 100% download is done if the file that you received is 100% perfect as well and it has maintained the file integrity. Next up we have Windowsill. Now this is a supercharged toolbar. Now for the smartphone fans out there think of this as the Origin Island that we talked about in Origin OS 6 video recently. By the way if you haven't watched that yet should pop up right now. And now you can Dock this toolbar anywhere and it gives you a ton of contextually aware actions. Let's say for example, if you copy an image and you paste it in this toolbar, it gives you contextual options. Like for example, if you want to resize it, crop it, bunch of different edit options. In fact, if you select a URL, you get options to uh, shorten it or create a QR code as well. Fun fact, it's also got AI tools like rewrite, summarize, stuff that we have on our smartphones, you know, built into the system. But for Windows, you need to download this separately. However, Windowsill is one of our favorite apps that we've recommended in all of our top Windows apps lists. So yeah, definitely go check it out. And before I talk about the next one, if you like these kind of videos, it would be really helpful for us if you guys end up subscribing to our channel as well. So go ahead, do that, hit that subscribe button and maybe also give us a thumbs up. The next app that we want to recommend is very uniquely named. It's called Wah Wah Button or Wah Wah Button. I don't know how to pronounce it. But essentially what it does is that if you are not very neat about arranging your, you know, windows uh, and you've placed them like at multiple places, maybe you have like multi-monitor setups and you've just thrown them away somewhere and it's like completely cluttered, this button helps you declutter it. The moment you hit the Wawa button, it instantly arranges all those open windows into a neat cascading pyramid layout. It's a silly name for an app, but I'll tell you this, it does a serious job. Now, I know that if I give you an alternative to VLC, you'll be like, I'm not trying this VLC forever. I know VLC is awesome, but give parse local media player a try. It's minimal, it's very clean, and it does all of the things that VLC does too. Especially the fact that it can play almost every single format out there, MKV, FLAC, throw whatever at it, it works. Also, if you have a radio stream or a video stream that you swear by, you can just take that URL, paste it on this video player and it will play for you instantly. It's a nice alternative, check it out. Now, if you're into local AI, the next app will be perfect for you. It's called Dion. Now, if you use Dion, you can forget about wrestling with terminal, Python code or any complicated settings because you can just browse and install all of the AI tools you want with one click because it's got a very neat graphical user interface. Also, it's open source, it's got a very good design and it actually makes using local uh, AI tools accessible because otherwise you would have to be a coder to use like, you know, complicated tools. Now, if you're looking for a music app alternative, then we've got something called Nagi for you. Not Nagi, Nagi. But anyway, this app is very clean. It's minimalistic in design as well. And it's got absolutely no ads. That is one of the main reasons why we're recommending it. You just point it to your music folder. It instantly recognizes and organizes everything into albums, artists and genres gives you deep control in the settings it's got a working equalizer a preamp and customizable player controls as well plus it can retrieve metadata from the web connect to last fm discord and the developer is really really active on reddit for feedback so yeah shout out to the developer for making this app pretty cool stuff mate now i'm not judging you but i know where you guys source your games from and when you source your games from you know where and there is something that pops up 
and then you know that it's malicious but you couldn't catch it on time this app is meant for you it's called what just flashed so it basically tracks and captures every single one of those malicious pop-ups it shows you the responsible application its locations and the arguments used as long as it's running it'll capture and keep a list of the most recent console pop-ups you just need to click it once and it immediately tells you which app was responsible for this pop-up also where to siding what it was trying to do all of that you will get that information immediately and once you get to know that information you can you know safely download games from wherever you want now if you're a privacy nut then this app which is very weirdly named by the way oh and oh shut up 10 plus <laughs> plus but yeah i mean this app is really useful if you're a privacy nut and essentially it's completely free it's portable you don't need any installation and it has a super simple interface as well so you can adapt your security settings you can control location services you can disable telemetry for office and more importantly you can now disable that new windows copilot plus recall feature as well basically it stops microsoft from taking a lot of your data i mean if if that's your thing you know we all love to work hard no anyway i mean if if you love to work hard uh, you still need to take breaks in between and it's very important to reset yourself it's called break time everybody needs one now break time v2 is a minimalistic app and it does one thing and it does that one thing very very well so you can set your work time and your break time within the app itself and moment the work time gets over the break time gets activated and you cannot access your computer and even all the four control all delete to open up your task manager nothing will work until your break timer hits zero it's actually very useful for anybody who works a lot and definitely needs a break once in a while definitely not useful for arnav is what i know because he takes more breaks than how much he works flood is the himalaya parvat is a very rainfall and this is the china this is the world war the next app is for those who want to improve their typing skills. It's called Typing 365. Now, if you want to improve your touch typing capabilities, then this app has a bunch of, you know, gamified ways to sort of help you do that. So it has racing components that makes it fun. So it gives you detailed speed statistics and error reports about every single word. And it uses AI text generation for a customized practice. You thought you could fool it? Eh, it's not gonna be easy. It even has a global builder board if you want to go and try and beat it, by the way. Really cool stuff. Try it out. I think you like it. Now, the final app that we want to recommend is a really serious one. It's called NoCal. It merges all the functionalities of calendar management, note taking, and personal organization as well. It works like a weekly, you know, note taking app. So whatever you've planned for the week, it shows up on your screen. So it keeps a track of your notes, your meetings, and your to-do lists. Think of Notion combined with your calendar, but truly unified. Now, if you want to use this app, the desktop app is totally free and you get unlimited notes as well. You only have to pay a little extra for mobile sync and some high-end features, but I honestly Honestly, I think after using this app, I think you might want to pay for it. It's actually good to have the mobile sync feature. All right, so that was our, you know, new list of new 11 apps for Windows 11. Now, if you have any app suggestions, do let us know in the comments and we'll definitely try that out for you. But do try these 11 apps out and let us know what you guys think. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.